Hello everybody, welcome to the match between Andrian and Arian in the first round of the Chalice. Um, this start ruined by Goliath. <laughs> um, Andri with Mighty Blow first, Chaos, um, Inarian with Dark Elves, and joining me in the booth is Purple Chest and K4. Hello. Maybe not. Hello. Yeah. Yep. I think we're both being too polite there, waiting for the other one. <laughs> it's waiting for PC. You can normally not quite so shut up. Well, I'll do the Skuro and say, here we are. This is an exciting one, Jim. What a match we have in prospect. The Dark Elf team receiving the ball. We've already had a riot. Things are already red hot and exciting. Uh, a very ordinary built Dark Elf team here. They have got some weapons, but it's pretty much how you'd expect a Dark Elf team to look. And uh, a pretty standard Andre team here. Uh, all the kill skills, letting that accelerate him up into the skills that are actually any good. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he does have a very nice plus strength guy there. Doesn't uh, doesn't have tentacles on him though. I always like a tentacles guy and the plus strength. There. No, uh, in a marked uh, change from tradition there, he took the strength first, followed it with block, and then guard, and then stand firm, Jim. Now, I would say, perhaps he wasn't very well that day, but then you look around at the rest of the team and realise there was plenty of Mighty Blow first on pretty much everything else. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think you mean closer to 30, Cornite, because he is only 29, just and like me. <laughs> Everybody that watched PC streamed on I knows exactly how old and where he's born. Yeah, I don't need to tell lies, Jim. I have the wisdom and maturity of age. I am comfortable in the fact that I am 49 years young. Yeah. I, I, I Older than most countries, that. younger than most <laughs> mountains. Oh, the other way around. Younger than... <laughs> yes. Older than most countries, younger than most mountains. Yes. Yes. I knew that, but that's 29 in Dio speak. Because <laughs> as far as Dio's concerned, <laughs> once you yeah. hit a certain age, you just remain 29 forever. Sign to me of his mental weakness that he can't own the fact that he hasn't been 29 for, oof, well, unless he's talking stone, um, for <laughs> at least a decade. <laughs> Brutal. Not claw pumping with block. But he gets the pow. Yeah, someone was, uh, yeah, I remember that bit. Yeah, see, I do remember some of that last night's stream. Uh, someone pointed out that was 22 whale pregnancies. I think it was you, Jim. I uh, know it wasn't. It was someone in my chat. Um, right. Pointed out. Well, okay, so there's the first elf down. Uh, it's not going to be the last. Instant cars. Oh, Could have 3D the uh, the blotch blitzer there. The blotch guard blitzer would have cast him. That would have been a much better hit in terms of damage, wouldn't it? I always like it when people are definitely not going to use the apothecary, but they make us. Uh, stare at just the possibility that they might for a good 10 seconds <laughs> so yeah it's it's pretty ordinary isn't it? he's got a strength up and he's got yeah. two guards and everything else is like blood step and fend and stuff yeah i mean and at this sort of level you'd expect to find a guard or two um the strength up isn't extraordinary for this many level ups is it it's it's probably all right that there's one uh perhaps it's a little surprising there isn't an agility up anywhere yeah and only one tackle. He's got. He's got three fenders. Very nice on the fend front. Yes. Only one tackle. Yeah, and that is going to limit uh, the claw pomming a little bit um, on those three players. Yeah. Not so much on everyone else though. Yeah. Everyone says, "Oh, you know, claw mighty blow, claw pom." If you just have claw pom, obviously not mighty blow, claw pom. If you have Fend, they can't be done. But you do need Fend on 11 players then. Which yes. is quite a lot of TV, isn't it? Yes, that was... Uh... they only need Claw Pom on the one. Yes, uh, when... Which when... very much. <laughs> when uh, somebody... Oh, who was it on Fumbo? I think it begins... His name begins with an F or something. You might know who it was when I tell you the story. Um, oh, my God. That's a huge cast. Wow, massive chip there. Apple comes in on the miss next and fails. <gasps> Ooh. That that Nurgle warrior there as uh, as over as loom bands. Yeah, that was for you. 
<laughs> Chaos Warrior, yes. Um, I, I know, I know it could easily have been Nurgle, it is Andrew. Uh, <laughs> but this time it's Chaos. Um, so, oh yeah, so either of you might know this. In, in uh, what, what's that? Uh, Blood Bowl, ta- what is, what's, what's the forum? Blood Bowl chat or talk or something, whatever. Talk Fantasy Football. Talk Fantasy Football, that's it. Yeah, it was Talk Blood Bowl, wasn't it? Now it's Talk Fantasy Football. Um, yes. On that forum, there was somebody who plays Fumble. Um, looked at piling on when it was like revealed before it came out in a CRP, and he's like, "This is fucking mental," <laughs> you know. And he's like, "Look at the odds." And Galax Starscraper, who thought of it, was like, "You just need to learn how to use the new skills better, which is wrestle and fend. They counter yes. it." Mm. It's like, yes, you, you know, and he apparently he didn't understand that you would need it on 11 players, which would then yeah. be 220 TV, and that would count a claw. Your one opponent's one claw bomber would be counted by 220. His one skill, his 120 TV skill could be counted by 220 TV. It's true. Yes. Yes, though it still doesn't actually limit the claw mighty blow dice in any way at all. No, of course. Um, you're right, it does limit POM. You can't <laughs> POM something that has pushed itself away from you, but you can POM all the other pieces that don't have that skill. Um, yeah. Galax Starscraper, Tom Anders, as he's known in the real world. I don't mind revealing his name. I don't fear his litiginous little ass. <laughs> um, then disappeared from Blood Bowl and went and made a game called Elf Ball, which you, uh, you might enjoy. Um... You also might not. <laughs> I'm not going to find out. <laughs> oh, well, he can't. It's a Fen. See, a Fen counted the piling on there. Yeah, so. that cannot be piled on. Uh, Andre, of course, still reeling yes. from the fact that he now only has three Claw Mighty Blows <laughs> on the pitch. Um, I'm sure we all feel for him. And yes, exactly, Juggernaut, of course, stops both of those. So the funniest thing is, you could take 440 TV of skills to give Wrestle and yep. Fend on every single player, and then <laughs> Juggernaut would They take a off. single skill for 20 on top of their kill stack that's accelerated to that easy skill to buy that doesn't need a double or anything special, and counter the 220 TV worth of skill you've bought to try and stop them killing your whole team. <laughs> yeah. It's a glorious situation, Jim. <sighs> To be amazing, how, like how uh, how how condescending he was to like this really good fumble player. I, I don't remember who it was. To um, everyone ever who'd actually done the maths <laughs> rather than just thought about it and felt some things. True. Yeah, it's an extraordinary way of looking at the situation. I don't know why. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I shouldn't be entirely evil about Galax Starscraper or Tom Anders. Uh, he did give us the design for Slan and Kislev. Uh, which he proved in a lawsuit, which means we can't ever have them. Yeah, which is brilliant. <laughs> um, and to be fair, he got rid of aging, which was great. So you know. Yes, yeah, I mean, lots of good things happened in the Vault review that led to those skills coming. Yeah. And Tom did put a lot of time and effort into Blood Bowl, I am mostly joking. Yeah. genuinely did completely design the, the slan roster which was proven in a lawsuit yeah. race that i've never used <laughs> in blood bowl 2 yeah satterfield I'm, i am in that sort of um nightmare on elm street situation where if i do close my eyes i fear they will not open again <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny wouldn't it copy monster but i guess not really right because they're not gonna i guess i don't know it'd be weird because like you're still going to have uh, lawsuits about computer games and board games. Yeah, absolutely. He proved that the IP of Slan was his, or at least partially his, Coffee Monster. Uh, I don't know what the result was in terms of damages or anything. Um, as far as I'm aware, no one has yet threatened Dabo with a lawsuit over his <laughs> interesting claim to have invented surfing. <laughs> He genuinely claimed to invent the offset LOS, which is pretty funny. Okay. Well, as I've always said, I invented inventing things that had already been invented. So yeah. I think I got there first. But he didn't, because Fash has already invented that. 
<laughs> Fashbinder has already done that. Though no, probably no one will remember Fashbinder anymore. Um, not many people remember Fashbinder. This is a bit tricky turn now, isn't it, for uh, Inari? And that's a, a few fails there. Is he just going to score? I think he's just going to score. you say that I invented, 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 invented things? No, Fashbinder invented, invent, in, inventing things, and then saying he'd invented things that other people had invented, and he said he invented that. So you're saying I am invented that I invented inventing invented things? No, he invented. I, I don't accept that. Yes, yeah, so if he invented it, I'm inventing that I invented inventing invented things because he invented that. Oh. It does make logical sense, I promise you. But I'm not going to make you think about it too hard, Jim. I know that isn't something you enjoy. My brain's leaking now. So the dark elves have scored, <laughs> uh, putting the one nil up. Um, Android hard, to see, hard to see how the Chaos do much about this with their uh, three claw mighty blows. God, Android demonstrating how not to defend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good though, isn't it? I mean, that's brilliant. That's a brilliant defense. Well, were they even trying to? I think exactly. that's a good question. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. He's demonstrated on how not to care about people scoring yeah. fast. Ah. I can't help myself. Go on. It's my ball they've got, and I want it back. And but not by them scoring. I want to take it away from them because they don't deserve to have it. They, they've got their filthy hands on my ball. <laughs> I know. I know how you feel. I know it's my greatest weakness in Blood Bowl. But I like should again, just sometimes let people score, and I hate it. Yeah, I was trying to get you to to do it, but that was hard. I tried was yesterday. I tried yesterday. And then he <laughs> and then he took the your coach to you. just was not gonna let me not <laughs> stop him. <laughs> It was amazing. Oh, he just that. put all his pieces in such terrible places. I had to take his ball away. It wasn't it? <laughs> Including basing his gate. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he did that, not me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he did he. Oh, and it is a perfect defence. <laughs> Inarian would be free to look by now. Inarian might be he uh, get one grinded by now. Absolutely none of his pieces safe, but he can move them around a bit. <laughs> oh, he's just stacked around his scrimmage. <laughs> And sometimes that's almost as good because he's got them off two of the claw mighty blows and just onto the one. Lovely kick. And again, this is why I don't like the kick skill, right? Because you just get this anyway, don't you? Like half the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it comes down to this. There's some pieces where it's kind of, that's nothing really better. Yeah. The only the only races I think it's a really quick early take on is the super fast super agiles. So I don't even else, really. I don't even mind it not taking on them because again most times the kick lands in a okay spot anyway. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, but it's the it's the two races you can guarantee if it's a deep kick you'll be able to get between the line of scrimmage and the ball. Of, of course you did. You always kill my threes when we play, <laughs> and it's not like kill like literally kill kill. It's the third, I think. <laughs> it's I definitely the second. <laughs> I haven't, Femi. The reason that it's the, the logo is David because that was the logo he chose for the Blood Bowl Super League. Um, which maybe I should only install for the matches because but on the other hand, it's, it's great to, to, to run into a Dio. I can't wait to run into a Dio team. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You did that on stream. I'm pretty sure I did see you somebody play with the dial logo on the stream. Yeah, that one where he's ele electronically thinned the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, he's blitzing the fender. Do you think he hasn't heard what that skill does? <laughs> I think he just doesn't care that much. Yeah, I suspect that is the case there. Yes. <laughs> I don't. Why How do you feel about a cheeky four plus for a surf? Yeah. Cool. I, tr I, I tried a cheeky three plus with two dice. That was too much. <laughs> yes, let's not talk about your poor dice. You made poor tactical decisions. I think <laughs> Dio has probably explained that to you. <laughs> At the moment, it's an uphill for uh, for the surf instead of the. So it's actually. It's an uphill instead of the four plus, isn't it? It's just an uphill for the, that's much better, isn't it? The uphill. Yeah. Instead of the four yeah. plus dodge. Yeah, that's uphill. even better. 
I'll, I'll do that without a... Yeah, thing. absolutely. Only needing a push, that's fine. Um, it's a piece you don't mind leaving there because it's a blodge step fend and it's junk anyway because it's movement busted. No, he's going to make that a, a one die. But then, you, then you've still got to dodge. I guess you're dodging three plus then. It's, it's a lot I don't think he's day. taking the surf, Jim. I think he's uh, he's got another plan, probably yeah. a better one. I, I think we're just channeling our inner Davo too much. I think it's, it's worse. What's a bad local for fuck's sake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got the demo I'm... logo. He should go for this. I think the uphill. You do the uphill, see what happens. And if you get the the push, then you can stick the guard in and do the surf. And if you get the pow. And you can do the surf without even sticking the guard in, can't you? Yeah, I'm. I'm going to be a little bit cruel here. I do wonder if this pause is because he thought putting the two pieces where he was, he was going to get a one die to push it. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, I think he did. And he now he's just realised that he absolutely can't. Yeah, this is now a one die, but it just means that it doesn't help at all. Yeah. So the odds to surf are still exactly the same as they were before he did all of that. And he's put more pieces at risk. Yeah. But it's in Narian, so it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, Conai, that's what we're talking about, the 4 plus surf. Yeah, you go from here to here and surf a good player. But by powering him, then you can just come in and, and surf. But if you yeah. pushed him, you'd have had to put the guard in there and do the surf. Well, now if you're willing to risk two 4 pluses, you can still put the guard in and do it on one die into two die. That might be worth a look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, it's, yeah, it's two into two, isn't it? If you yes, sorry. If you put the guard in, yes, it would be two into two. Yeah, probably still do after putting this much commitment. Screw it. Well, and of course, you're not risking the witch unless the first four plus works. So there's some advantages to that. Yeah. Like the payoff is is pretty great, isn't it? Like, it certainly is. To sir. remove yet another, to get two of the Claw Mighties off this early would be beautiful. No, it's just doing a, a one into a two into one, which is an interesting decision. And dodging a tackle. And what is that giving at all? I'm trying to be very positive. Am I allowed to say I hated that turn in its entirety and everything about it? Yep. Good. <laughs> I hated that turn in its entirety and absolutely everything about it. I added a word there, but I figured you'd let me. <laughs> now, I'm very impressed with what I've seen of Inarion, both as a human being and as a coach, but that turn, I don't think, lived up to his standard at all. No. Um, it's the no other option, go. of course, was to ignore all those pieces and, again, try and get through the semi-available space uh, past Pinagor, the block uh, guard beastman, and get some L's between this ball and the rowdy line of, uh, of nasty pieces. But he certainly didn't do that. It looked like he was looking at surf options. Then it looked like he played it very badly, and then he chickened out and took a terrible, terrible block instead. Oh, thought there's been a, pa a double skull before moving the ball at all. Yeah, and Coffee, I think that's, that's very well put, yeah. yeah. I think he overthought the turn and ended up with a dropped trifle. No, and no, another no, elf no, saying, no. squish, squish, squish. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the point about the chip, wasn't it? It was not only getting uh, the numbers back in your favour a little bit, but it was taking one of the most dangerous pieces off the field. Yeah. And instead he's left an enormous number of elves based and only in the end took a one die on a piece that really... You know, it would have been lovely to push off, but now it's a danger. And knocked over a trash beastman. So the level of risk he's put himself to for that gain seems a, a bad trade. Yep. Now, that said, this could all still work out for Anarion because there's lots of blodge and there isn't a lot of tackle hitting them. Um, these elves could all stay up. It could strand the, the two Chaos Warriors on this pack of elves. Um, mm. And hence they could then be in some danger next turn with their stand for block AV9. Or he could just bang a few elves out and the half of it will be over. We'll see. <laughs> Bishop, come imagine that by steps. Uh, probably last thing on my mind. Son. 
it's a classic, isn't it? I mean, tragedy, tragedy's pretty good, isn't it? Tragedy's, tragedy's hard to argue with. Uh, one for sorrow, really like one for sorrow. <laughs> Didn't follow for another hit there. I quite like to follow for another hit. I, don't know. I guess this keeps the stand firm in a more relevant position, doesn't it? Fair enough. Fend, he's got Fend. I quite liked following up against Fend. It's a pretty good idea. <laughs> All right. Shit. He's got Fend. I even remember that uh, this guy didn't have Fend, but then just forgot that this guy did. I, um, because I really don't know my step songs, I was about to say, ain't no party like an S club party. And I just ran it through in my head. The obvious problem with that was it, it did occur to me. Yeah. That was obviously um, Blue, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, God, Blue have got some absolute bangers. Love a bit of Blue. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, S Club, S Club great as well, to be fair. Didn't they have a, a weirdly sort of mini-me version of them called the S Club Kids or something? Wasn't that a thing? Yeah, S Club Juniors, and then they ended up being the Saturdays, like two of them, I think, ended up being the Saturdays. And the Saturdays were, were underrated, I think. <laughs> Definitely not by me, Jim. <laughs> Definitely not by me. That would imply I had rated them in any way at all. Well, we've seen your snack tier ratings and uh, <laughs> pretty shocking. <laughs> Anyone that puts a tea cake above D, just they're dead to me. I'm, <laughs> it's that simple. Wow. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that Muppet Pac-Man. They're not even shitty, what are you talking about? Wash your mouth out with soap and water. <laughs> this is not what I've been promised when I watch Inari and play with dice. No. Uh, no comment. PC would put tea cakes in his D. There you go. Not blitzing first. No, I guess it doesn't matter. He really wants to, uh, really um, wants to power him, but I can see the size. And was all of that really just to get two die on the strength five stand firm chaos warrior with its AV nine? Yeah, and totally leave all this gaping hole. I know it. it Not loving. I it. mean, there's probably some thought behind this. I'm just struggling to pass what it may be. Yes. It's got I mean, he's already chipped one chaos warrior, hasn't he? So I suppose he's thinking, you know. Lightning can strike twice, it, it might happen again. Mm. But considering he's not hitting with Mighty Blow um, to try and make that happen, it, it would he not be better off hitting the ones with the AVH, Jim? Is that not a thing? I think he might have been better off doing that, yes. Um, also, maybe better off not allocating so many resources. Like, that's the thing, isn't it? It's not even as if yeah. it was better to hit the warrior, it's just so many resources to hit him. Yeah. Doesn't get the power, does he reroll? No. I thought he might have gone for the reroll there, you know, just because the dirty player was there, ready for the foul. Yeah, only two turns left after this, only two rerolls left. I mean, still quite a long way to go with the ball, though. Yeah. Um, and sort of ruinous if it goes wrong, as he hasn't actually bothered building a proper cage. Yeah. Just sort of throwing some players vaguely around it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying. I'm not saying this one I thought was the best play. <laughs> I thought he might have done it. No, you're just surprised it didn't happen. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the removal. Yeah, Fend didn't seem to keep that one very safe, Jim. I'm confused. It's outrageous, isn't it? Time to write to your local Gallic and ask him what's... <laughs> What's wrong with using the new skills? You need to learn how to use the new skills, so obviously Inari needs to learn how to use that Fen better. And if he could use the Fen skill better, he wouldn't have got removed. 
Well, to be fair, he didn't put it on one of the, uh, the the piling on pieces there, so that may have been what was wrong. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Yep, yep, hold the key, pointing out the same thing. See, great minds thinking alike. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Should we do a round two reveal after the game? Um, well, what we could do after the game is we could do Gadenix replay if PC's up for it. I certainly am. I'd love to see what happens to the fourth set of Wood Elves. Glorious. So we could do that. And, and like I said, could... that may be my round three opponent if I get incredible dice against those much nastier, much bigger Dark Elves that clearly have a huge advantage over me. Ah, glorious. Doesn't put the reroll in there in our end. He's waiting till turn eight, which of course is the crucial turn. Um, he, and again, because he put all those guys in, into that strength five warrior, he has not got the means to create a screen. And I feel like we could see quite a nice little progression from Andrew here if he does the right moves. Jim, like Saul on the road to Damascus, I've seen what attacking that strength five warrior was all about. <laughs> these uh, these dark elves, they fancy a one turn. And they've realized with two stand firm chaos warriors on the pitch it's not massively likely i hate this i think that's the wrong move i think he had to blitz the, the garda here with him chain the rackler forward and then he could have hit with a claw pommer right claw pommed him then he frees the rackler up you can block him and free so he could have had three players down the field with this guy would have had four yep. players down yep. the field and that might have yep despite how some of the interesting decisions we've seen um Chaos struggling here to get anything remotely approaching a safe attack on uh, on scoring. Yeah. Which is remarkable. There was a, uh, a riot, uh, and hence he really should have thought, this is a short drive, I need to prioritise movement more than I feel he has done. Yeah. Yeah, I really didn't like that guy just standing up here. He's not... He wasn't fast enough to get anywhere, was he? Because no. he could have he piled on him. Like, you know, he could have maybe piled him, and even if he didn't pile, pile on him... You would have and it's a classic example to me of someone, you know, if if I was coaching, they might be asking, you know, how what do I do with this turn? And my answer would be, play the five turns earlier a lot better. <laughs> oh, Don't wow. end up in this situation. There we are. Get to the power. Fend doing its job there. Yeah. Cannot pile on that witch despite the armor break. Yeah. Um, maybe we're wrong, Jim. Perhaps it is a fantastic way of combating Claw Pump. <laughs> That's the fact that it was removed from Blood Bowl five years ago because the dice stats and actual games that were played proved how incredibly overpowered it was. And that was a huge mistake. <laughs> Maybe. Boosh, gets should... the Kaz. Yep. Of course, would have made that Kaz whether he had a Fend or not. <laughs> I don't want to keep going on about it, but yeah. <laughs> Oh, gets the gets the wrestle, so he could he could dirty play a foul now, couldn't he? And he, he should, I think, double G. He could, five, should, and I would suggest if he makes the dodge, he's going to. He's got a reroll to throw at it. Has he found the witch? Yeah, he's found the witch. Oh, I would have found the other one because this guy can oh, okay. surf your this guy can surf your ball carrier. <laughs> the witch can. She's stunned. <laughs> I would have just double G if I'd fouled him. He can, he can just roll the dice and surf you, it's not even hard. Yeah, he does have AV7 and you could have got there without a dodge. But it would have been less showy, Jim. Yeah. And now, why no not throw a little one in nine in, just to make it cheeky? <laughs> like, there's no other play, is there? There's literally no, no other play, it's just... Yeah. Uh, I can even one D surf him, okay. Yep, here comes the cancel. We'll just to reassure some of the people in the chat that I said cancel, not here comes the council. <laughs> it's fine, Statterfield, they're not going to turf you out of your flat. <laughs> well, there you go. Unlucky, unlucky there. I think that was way too easy. Yeah, I think that was way I too think, sloppy. Yeah, as I said, he just didn't respond to the riot well enough. He didn't get what forward quick enough, Jim, for my liking. Um, what are you I mean, doing? in the end, the sideline uh... cage was about all he could do. Even then, I. He should have looked earlier and found three in front of the uh, sidelined piece. Which still isn't safe, but it's a little safer. 
uh, or managed to put a piece in exactly where the cancelling elf went in, uh, which again just makes it that much trickier. Uh, but in the end, he only felt he could get three pieces away, and it was enough. It, it perhaps shouldn't have been, but it was. Yeah. Because dice don't, dice don't care about what's right and wrong. <laughs> That's uh, true. And there are dice in there, there genuinely are. I mean, the whole point of there are no dice is not that there are no dice, because there's dice. And some it's of the, them are purple and good looking. Yes, they are. <laughs> it's just that you can't control the outcome, so it shouldn't be something you over focus on. You yeah. should focus on how you coach and did you do enough to cope with whether the dice were good or the dice were bad. So, 1 1 at the half. Of ang wow. And the exactly, instead of getting angry if all goes to shit, then just bloody laugh. It's a game after all. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, though, for the three people in the commentary booth, that is incredibly easy for us to say. We should have some empathy with people that that haven't been there, done it, and won all there is in Blood Bowl. Because <laughs> there are a lot of people. Like that. I mean, you know what I mean. I haven't won all there is to win in Blood Bowl, and Jim certainly hasn't. But <laughs> there are. Oh. <laughs> You know, when, when you when you haven't got a heaving trophy cabinet and the admiration of millions <laughs> and the filth, filth, wealth, fame, riches that come along with true mastery of Blood Bowl, it's it's easy to, to think that, you know, if only you, you got those vital chalice wins, the respect of millions would be there for you. And I can understand the stress that comes along with that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the twos, the twos are better, can't they? The twos are better. The two twos, you're about thirty percent to fail, and the three, you're thirty-three percent to fail. So, yeah. I could, I couldn't say you were wrong because PC was busy being PC. <laughs> it was pretty. So that was worth it, Jim. Oh, it was definitely worth it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to stop PC being PC. Pure box office. Oh. Well, that's why you pay me the big money. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Looking George Clooney in the booth here. <laughs> okay, so we have seven Dark Elves to somehow turn these Chaos over and get the ball and win. The uh, the Chaos were pretty ruinous for this Dark Elf team. Yeah, this is this is just... Uh, Andrew's just got to not fuck things up, hasn't he? <laughs> now they came in light and tight, these Dark Elves, which is definitely how I like my women. Not necessarily how I like all of my Blood Bowl races. <laughs> but he didn't get a wizard, so he wasn't, he wasn't like, you know, it wasn't that. No, no. I mean, the standard Dark Elf bloat problem that once you've got, you know, five or six really good players, you're probably up near 2,000 anyway. Mm. Um, but then not having a couple of junk pieces for the bench just starts to look a little... Little risk prone, doesn't it? Yep. And there goes another one. Oops, there goes another dark elf. <laughs> he gets the, he's got a lovely player to pile on here, hasn't he? No fend and the guy. No fend, yeah. Incredible player to pile on. Of course, that is the blockless pylon. Um, tiny bit of risk there, so I like the fact that he's uh, tied up one of the other elves with. Uh, I don't really like it. <laughs> did they did it though? <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't mind sort of slightly extending the screen. Yeah. But for a start, you didn't need that assist to do that hit. So that's a, a chaos warrior slightly wasted. Yeah. Um, and now we did risk the one in nine with you know more or less a safe positioning if it went wrong. And the pickup worked fine, so it's all Gucci. Yeah. Uh, it's looking real bad for Inari. Oh, he's not going. He's not going forward into a cage. Well, I think he's seen Rick Reckless's last chalice run and understands that if you really want to kill things, what you need to do is drop your ball carrier far away and totally disassociate it from the rest of your team <laughs> against fast, agile races. <laughs> I've got no idea that question, Coffee. I don't know if PC or KFOG might know. I know absolutely nothing about the NAF. Uh, except it's that the, when their elections the pink happen, one they only is, three people. That's not true. Um, if the pink ones is... 
you need to renew, and the easiest is when tabletop goes up again because yeah, your local guy will have like the different sets you have. With it's also quite often possible to get older sets if they're still in stock. Uh, if you if want those beautiful purple ones that I that I have and was showing off the other day, Coffee Monster, then uh, yes, those are now an, an out-of-date set. That was last year's Magic Special Prize gift. Just going to run him through, isn't he, this guy? Oh, a bit greedy there. Went for the 4 plus 2 plus, but gets to base the ball. Oh, boy! Well, Jim, I did point out, didn't I, that... that Moving the ball backwards and disassociating it from the rest of your team could be slightly problematic. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did hint at that. Um, I, did, I did. Yeah. <laughs> that groundbreaking just, blood ball knowledge. I know. Well, I mean, I did invent the idea that that was bad. So <laughs> before I, I mentioned it, I think everyone was just doing it and assuming it would be fine. <laughs> I think what he should have done was I think he should have punched the blodger right and then and then tried to pound him to chain the rack over forward so he could have hit him and then pushed him away and so he's just bitting the ball carrier but I think it might have been better to have done that marginally yeah I mean the ball carrier is one of his uh, very few tackle pieces so I do understand it um, hitting the uh, the blodge guard from any other angle uh, was going to be a little tricky it would have required a go for it to hit it and definitely clear the ball carrier. Um, yeah, that's what I mean. So you could, you could have quit that by going for the power on him. And, yeah. Uh, so I feel like it was worth going for the power on him to, to do that. And then, you know, just to just to reduce the risk of the one on the trying to carry it, I guess. You, you know, screw it. He said screw it, and it worked. So it was good. I didn't, I didn't hate the blitz off. No, I didn't um, hate it at all, no. No, it Doing it that early in the turn meant if it was just a push, and hence it, it cost you that square of movement, you could have formed this cage, you know, slightly further back, so that was fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, but then against know. four elves, it doesn't really matter what you do, does it? I guess not, no. Unless you take some of the decisions kill build it. <laughs> but that was against wood elves. don't matter. <laughs> who have leaps and things, and it turns out it didn't matter anyway. So, it was all fine. Yeah. Oh, he's fouling him. And it's a gym foul. Six elves. Now, six elves is enough to cause a problem. Uh, I didn't love that foul, Jim. No. I just don't think a blodge guard is that important a piece. The, the witch elf, I may well have uh, tickled her with a boot. <laughs> uh, also lower armour, of course. But from a really dominant numbers position, you're now in a sort of mostly dominant numbers position. And with the way that elves can manoeuvre some people away from the ball, you know, if you can keep two or three of these chaos away from an area you want them and then move all of your elves towards the area you do want to get in charge of, suddenly the numbers can start to get a bit worryingly even. I don't mind having spare people against elves. Yeah. I didn't really like that blitz, though, I'll be honest with you. Well, no, I didn't either, but it's it's very hard to come up with good ideas with this few elves. And at least he's got the ball based, which can cause a problem, and in goes the sidestepper, yeah. Mm. Uh, again, we did talk a bit about the uh, the lack of tackle on this, uh, this Chaos team. Hmm. And as the uh, the claw pommel with tackle has decided to throw itself to the ground quite a long way away from anything. <laughs> no, no, he got blitzed. He got blitzed by the way. Oh, he got blitzed off. Right. Yeah. It's a little bit irrelevant to this uh, this play at the moment. Oh, wow. And getting... Hen <gasps> this is very feisty. This is a very Inarian move, from what I've heard. What I don't know. It just stuns that claw pommel with tackle. Wow. <laughs> now, what Inarian did do that I quite like is put his uh, his rack his rog piece. On top of the uh, the rackle piece from the beastman, these strange words we use. Uh, that either means you've got to hit it as a one in nine risk with the naked beastman, uh, or that your your sole other tackler can't get back to help out with this um, sidestepper on the ball carrier. So he has created some big problems here. Oh wow! 
But yeah, you can you can churn you can churn her off, can't you? That's the yeah, thing. you can chain the ball carrier off using the uh, the Fendi witch. Yeah. Fendi, they're not not being used in the same context as Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, just to clear up any confusion, I am aware it is a premium brand of handbags, I believe. I didn't like that. I'm not liking a lot of things that Andy's doing here. I would have got to be honest with you. Are you suggesting he's a limited banger that just enjoys hitting stuff, Jim? I'm not suggesting that at all. Good, good, because that would be rude. How dare you! <laughs> he's a World Cup winner. Put some respect in your voice, young man. Yes. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, as scary no, look, as the as scary what, he's, what he's done there is he's 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 allowed the ball carrier to take the hit on the uh, on the strength four which cleared the front edge of the cage, which is is sort of all right. Uh, and then hit the piece, hit the witch with a non-tackle piece. Yep. Now chaining one of his out of the defensive cage position he's in or pushing the ball carrier forwards into a risky position so that's fine yeah so he could have now made this hit with the rackle if he hadn't activated already I yeah mind. i mean actually now he has got the ball carrier yeah to use its tackle on that witch yeah uh, to clear off the imminent threat to the ball carrier and he does have guard pieces he can drop it in front of it uh, and to sort of close this Pseudo cage area. That's ah, really, really nice. That move around the back there. Yeah, it's still risky, though, isn't it? It's still very risky. It is. It is. Uh, but of course, he's had a piece sent off. He's had a piece stunned. So there are five elves for these nine chaos to deal with. That is quite a lot. <laughs> So you can get, we can get what two plus four plus for two die. Yeah, two plus four plus gives him two die, but two die into red dice. Yeah. Or and the can... recovery options are pretty okay if mm -hmm. he can power it on those two dice. Yeah. You you could bring it. You could move the guard in to make it a two and or one, couldn't you? And to be clear, I am having a little bit of a joke. You know, I did think I did, as I said, the dark elves did create quite a nice problem there for the chaos. Uh, and they didn't quite get the dice they wanted to solve it. Um, but yeah, we are. They're going to have to re-roll that. Oh, they're into dubs. Well, I think that probably ends most resistance now. Uh, I'd be very surprised if that witch doesn't get uh, a little gentle love tap in the face with the heel of a beastman's boot. Yeah, I can hear the chuckles in chat. <laughs> I can hear the chuckles being... <laughs> Time as we say, as we speak. I think that was. I think that's GG there, isn't it? That surely not. Well, I mean yes, but if he goes full on seriously trying to take this witch out, there is still three elves, four elves that need hitting in order to really make that possible. Keeping the ball safe at the same time isn't a given. Oh, that's fair. And he is lacking tackle a bit, isn't he? Yeah. Hello, Tony. Plus, his claw palm piece over the other side of the field must be really itching to hit something. Oh, he's, he's definitely blitzing with him. <laughs> he's 100% blitzing with the claw palm. Now, this is actually quite nice. Uh, he's really prioritised building a semi-safe cage before he takes this blitz hit. Yeah. And assuming he doesn't pile on here, he can close the cage up. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Which he doesn't. There's a beautiful bit of restraint. Um, I quite like that. That's pretty much what I would have done. Yeah. Except I wouldn't have even contemplated the pylon. I'd have just done the blitz and instantly moved up into that position. But it's, you know, let's, he more or less did. <laughs> you also have to pay for the spectators, right? Sure. <laughs> let, our, let our guessing a bit. That's surely what he's doing. <laughs> uh, hello, Milky Willis. The Super League is, is going, it's going all right. Um... Hopefully tomorrow, at some point, um, PC will be free. I'll message you on Discord or whatever, PC. Okay. Yep. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of time and we can make a YouTube, a YouTube video together. Yes, I'd be very happy to. 
Um, are you going to make me wear that outfit again? Yes, please. Go up to the basement. But it, it, it pinches in all the wrong places. <laughs> just, just, I can't, I can't help myself or PC. <laughs> <laughs> it's provocative. <laughs> oh, the gym foul. Is that two gym fouls by Andrew? It is, isn't it? I think it is. <laughs> Whereas Anarian's cheeky little uh, no assist foul um, got himself a stun and no problems. <laughs> However, let's not pretend that everything has been rosy for these Dark Elves. True. <laughs> <laughs> now again, I didn't hate that foul uh, like I did the other one, because that was on the witch, and the witch is definitely a very dangerous piece. If it gets into this cage, um, there, there's yes, there's guard on the diagonal corners, but there's ways that may not be true in a turn or so, for example. Um, so that witch does is genuinely always a threat with its jump up. It's got huge range with its strength four, even with a guard diagonally on the corners. There's still an easy one die to be found. He's gone for the blitz, isn't he? Yeah, oh no, he's yeah, not. He's, absolutely. He's, yeah. Oh no, he's just uh, knocking his way out of the problem and assuming that there'll be a, a blitz to be had next turn. I think there probably will. I can't see the Chaos scoring this turn. Oh, I think he might. I think he might. Yeah, but then he yeah, has two ones, then he's going overtime, isn't he? So yeah, because he doesn't want to score. Yeah, and again, I, I hate to come all Mystic Meg about this, but I did say that if you can leave enough Chaos behind in one corner of the field, the Elves have both the agility and the speed to then not be quite as outnumbered in the other part. And sure enough, that, mm -hmm. that's pretty much what we've seen happen here. Yeah, We've currently got four Dark Elves taking on five Chaos. Yeah. Uh, and the other two Dark Elves are holding four Chaos back. So that second foul being sent off, just equalizing the numbers down to 9-6, has really allowed them to get all over this cage. Now the Chaos have hit themselves clear already, but how do they get this safe? I think they've, they've just got a score, as horrible as it is. Well, I sort of did worry he was running too far ahead and perhaps a stability turn before advancing more en masse. Bringing the boys with you could perhaps have been good. But again, the lack of tackle against this much blodge with a little bit of sidestep thrown in, very, very difficult to get on top of if you, uh, if you don't get the pals. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the thing is, if you score, at least worst-case scenario is then overtime, which isn't that bad, is it? Yeah, but there are three Dark Elves ready to spring up off that bench. Yeah. I mean, for all the hitting and for all the nice dice the Chaos seem to have had at times, they have only smashed out two. Yeah, they've, they've, cast as many, they've cast as many of their own as they have of the opponents. Yeah, they certainly have, yeah. <laughs> and their bench, not that deep. With GFI. Well, this guy's uh, moved four. Fact, you know, they are now maxed out at 10. Oh boy. From the Super League, Kinroth. Um, oh yeah, so Milky Will is saying about asking about the Super League. So the idea is we're going to have a Super League show each week. Because we, we finished the first two weeks of Super League. I got a buy in the second week. Um, so I'm going to like make a graphic that shows the actual tables. Because the tables in game have the buy week. And then I'll make the table so that people can just check the YouTube videos to see like what the tables are and stuff. And things like that. I don't know. I'm I'm still don't know. That. The best idea is making a website, isn't it? Like the ass. That would be the best thing. Or just having it on the ass website, if if that would be possible. <laughs> but I mean, I wouldn't mind making you know a website. Yeah, I'm sure. Just ask you. Try to ask yeah. Mm. If it's easy doable, I'm pretty sure he will say yes. He likes anything that gives him extra exposure. Although I wouldn't overlook the fact that he'll turn around and say, well, I stream and you didn't ask me, so go mm. shove it up your rectum. But he won't, because <laughs> uh, he's nice. He has about to say, he might write long and confusing stuff, but uh, he's mainly quite nice. Yeah, he is, he's a lovely fellow, yeah. yeah. It, a little bit con confusing at times, <laughs> yeah. when he goes over on a rant, but... Do you think there'll be a graph? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's nothing like a good grab. Yeah. I, do, I do like, yeah, because that, that would be great, wouldn't it? Uh, if, yeah, I put it on the ass, and then it's advertising the ass website as well a bit, yeah, so we're both getting something out of it if it's just put on the ass, yeah, so he might, he might be okay with that, mightn't he? 
Yeah. The thing is, it's not him. Uh, he has a dude doing it, so it depends a little bit how easy it is for him. To do stuff. Right. Yes, despite not inviting him to come play, you can ask him to, ask him to uh, shove it on his ass. Yeah. yeah and exactly. uh, let's see what he says. Yeah. This looks perfectly safe, doesn't it? <laughs> Did you... <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, the uncharitable might say that for a 2 plus, 3 plus, there's a 1 die on the ball. Um, and if you care to add another 3 2 pluses, it's 2 die. But I, d I don't want to focus on things like that, Jim. No. Sorry, Volkvador. <laughs> Didn't I? I'm just stupid. That's all. I'm not, I'm not deliberately... Uh... <laughs> I don't deliberately ignore things, I'm just stupid. Yes, he's not being evil, about, he's just lazy and lackadaisical. Yeah. You need to send it in five cubbies in five different times, and they may <laughs> arrive, some of them may arrive near me at one point. <laughs> yeah. I, I try not to ascribe negative options to people when pure laziness or incompetence will cover it. Oh, well, that covers pretty much everything I've ever done in my life. Yeah, me too, frankly. <laughs> okay, so instead of the lots of dice for two, he goes for the reasonable number of dice for one. Doesn't manage to get the power, but um, again, lots of problems caused for these very few chaos. Yeah, again, he and, might uh, just have to take the score, mightn't he? Yeah, still quite a lot of chaos a long way away. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, I felt there was more that was op on there. Yeah, yeah, maybe. As I said, Two and a three followed by three twos gave you two dice there. Yeah, um, I think and I think in a situation this this bad and when it's got when it was that open, I thought that wasn't too terrible. Yeah, I agree. Particularly with two rerolls in hand, but um, you know at least we have now still got an enormous amount of dark elf pressure considering just how few dark elves there are. Yeah, the problem now is of course going down to one reroll is terrible, isn't it? With yes, it is. Yeah. The potential of your drive or overtime, either that, one. That is absolutely true. But you know what's worse? Losing. Yeah. <laughs> but the point is, even if you use the reroll, you're only stopping the score, right? You're only getting it one way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is two. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so. It, but if he manages to stall this out and score in, not this turn, but ooh, the next one or the one after it, it's, I mean, Dark Elves can two-turn, but it's not as easy as it is for Woodies or Pros. No. Um, and in one turn, they are going to struggle. They don't have any plus move pieces, so it's uh, it's the Frenzy Witch pushing a move seven into range, which is yeah. tricky. Especially not impossible, but tricky. Steppers. The sidesteppers that he's got basically make him. Oh no, he hasn't got sides down there. No, no he's players, got two stand firms. Yeah, he's got two stand firms. So that makes it tricky, doesn't it? But he doesn't have 11 it men. Makes it tricky. He only has nope. 10 men, so. Yep. Interesting. And now he's looking not, not able to get the ball safe. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna and there's him. a blodge slide set moves seven. It's currently knocked out, but that could come back too. Oh, he's fucked. Yep. He's, he's yep. fucked, uh, is he? He's yeah, fucked. Yeah, he, really, this is not less than less than optimal. I think one would probably say, looking at this position, he's fucked it. There is one more beastman that can go somewhere. The blitz has moved uh, five. <laughs> where it goes, it's not going to be particularly useful. There's also the three plus dodge off with the chaos warrior that could. Two three pluses could vaguely help. He could build an eye cage. So I think that has to be tried. No, let's take a big old pointless hit instead. I thought this guy was move six. He's movement five. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. Holy shit. Well, I think I've spotted a 2D on the ball. I don't know about you. <laughs> You might have to explain it to me twice, Jim. Oh. Um, I'm looking, but... Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, I see, I see it now. I see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's got the pal. Yeah, no. it's an interesting direction to push it into. And by interesting, I do mean terrible. Surely you push it sideways out towards the shore hands piece. Yeah. Which is, again, move six. So, you know, maybe not. Just lands in the four tackle zones. He's managed to reduce that by one. 
Yeah, now you can go for the pickup, can't you? Fires with a reroll, that's fine. Why why didn't he push it towards where there were only two beastmen, both of which were pretty terrible? I um, just Cor, oh, are you still here? Can you 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 do elves. Why I don't Yeah, I don't either. <laughs> Why has he stood that guy up? Just just the the sure hands worked. Does he hand off? Does just he rolled hand a six off? there. It's on the pickup. No, it was a five. Needed a five. Rolled a Does five. Hand off. He, oh, he goes for the hand off. Does he put the reroll? He Casual the re four plus hand off. Strange, it didn't work, Jim. He's going to need a reroll. He's done it. He, can, oh, he can't run away because he's moving fucking five. <laughs> and now this uh, this, this this lovely move six blitzer he's fails the dodge. <laughs> Handing the ball straight back. <laughs> of course, the run and punt there would only have got him to overtime, but it would have got him to overtime. <laughs> this may well have done enough to get him to overtime anyway. Yeah, yeah I thought he's moved six as well, PC, but he's moving five. <laughs> oh, it's move five. Yeah, it is move five. He's really okay. fucking terrible. <laughs> Inarian, how are Andre? Oh, the the elf. Right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> amazing time. Yeah, I, I decided a while ago I'm having a night off from being nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like your plan of being nice. <laughs> I've tried so hardcore. I really have. And I'm going to go back to it. I am trying to be genuinely more fair this season. I mean, I feel I've been fair, but I don't feel I talk about people negatively. I talk about the plays try really hard to only talk about the Blood Bowl and to empathise with the fact that it is a tough game and that with the chalice and the eyes upon you in a child's game that shouldn't matter in your life because it's just not important um, some people do get stressed I get it <laughs> yep you know at a time of global pandemic with people dropping dead all around us most industry is still in tatters and all of our futures uncertain. It, it's so important that you roll those twos. <laughs> Does he make this unmakeable block? That's the question. It's Andre, so I think we're about 50 50 whether he makes the unmakeable block. Yeah, he's going to block it. 100%. <laughs> No, he's not making it unbelievable. He's having a really long think about it, though. Okay. Picks the ball up on a blockless piece. <gasps> Fails to go for it. I mean, it had to be made, so better to make it this turn and get as far away from all of those horrible pieces as possible. Yep. Oh, he's double one day as well. Oh, my God. It's a snake. Oh, my God. There are still some pieces in range, but it's going to take some work to get this scored. It's an insane. That's one of the extremely fast pieces on Inarian's team. The move six runner, or maybe the move five blitzer. Oh no, the move by five blitzer can't get anywhere near it. The move six runner can. Yeah. Oh, gee, if and I... does. And now a little tiny punt. Nice, I'm trying to make a screen. No, screen just or... he can stand there, can't he? It's fine. Tag, it's tag fine. The, tag the rackle with the. Uh... Well, I mean, the Rackle is your best scoring threat as well, though the, the naked Beastman 2 behind it directly uh, can also get into the end zone. Yeah. So here, if we end it as we are, the naked Beastman has to go to the end zone, the Rackle piece has to come for the ball, and then the killer has to chuck the little punt in, doesn't it? The little pass. Yeah. Which is why he's just settled, also the fact that he yeah, couldn't go any further for that Blitz attack, tagging just <laughs> yeah. the naked Beastman. Yeah. And, then he and he's tagged the Rackle piece as well. I... Is it worth doing the... Uh, it, no, it's a go for it and a 3+, plus to get the right side of that Rackle piece, isn't it? Between the Rackle piece and its target. Mm. I think you've got to leave that 3+. plus. Oh, this is sexy. Yeah, no, okay. didn't spot that. Very, very nice there from Anarian. It's now only a one die, but it's a one die with Wrestle to take down the Rackle piece. I think that's probably worth it. <laughs> and so does he. But not worth his re-roll. Oh no, the re-roll's already gone this turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Fucking, I make it is a little kid's game because that's what. That's why we're all fucking forty-ish, isn't it? You know, that's why we're mostly between like you know thirty-six and forty-six or whatever because we were all kids when we got into it. 
So it is a kid game. It is a kid game. Okay, I've got two things to say about trying to respond seriously to one of my comedic uh, rants. Firstly, I don't care. I'm going to say them anyway. And secondly, I don't care what you say. Because <laughs> um, I didn't mean it. Well, he didn't blitz. Except that... No, that's confusing me. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's dump off. Oh, it's the dump off. Oh, lovely. Lovely play. Oh, yeah. Just <laughs> Into a double skull. Um, wow. Of course, dump off. Of course, dump off. Um, because that piece is only move six, you probably missed that it was a runner. Yeah. Uh, it is a runner, or was a runner. <laughs> now it's a now it's a stroller. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. And fucking, I mean, genuinely, I'm just trying to have some fun tonight. You know, I've had a couple of, uh, I've been out for my first meal out with my entire family for quite a long time. I've had a couple of cocktails to re-celebrate my birthday, and I'm just enjoying this game and enjoying having some fun with you. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, dump off was pretty good then. I mean, not really, but it, it, you got to use it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's going to be even better in Blood Bowl 2020 when if someone gives you the evil eye from 30 spaces away, you get to dump off then for reasons yeah. that no one can explain to me. <laughs> yeah. um, and, then, and then when you dump off, then he needs to do the block on you. After you dump off. Yeah, like, yeah, but he can he can then just choose not to. Yeah. yeah. He can't then choose to blitz anyone else, but he like, can choose not to yeah, blitz like, you. Like this turn here, right? The Rackler declares the blitz. He declares the dump off, does the dump off, and then the, then the Rackler just dodges and goes in the end zone. <laughs> yeah. <that. laughs> someone yeah. passes to him, like, what the fuck? See, that, that would be at least interactive. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying they designed a terrible, terrible skill and a terrible... A te they took a not particularly good skill and made it just... Utterly ridiculous, completely meaningless, absurd, and hard to explain to anybody. Um, but you know, other people may think that, and I would agree. I'm just not saying it. Oh. So in Narian, not only did none of his three KOs come back, he also lost the kickoff, so he is down to six elves and no balls. Yeah, but you know. We've seen him stop 11 Chaos with 6 elves. Uh, I, I just don't see why he'd be worried about stopping 10. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how many of the 6 does left after the line of scrimmage. Mm. Just bringing these details in, core. I don't know. Yeah, obviously there's a point there. Yeah, yeah it'd, been, it'd been a lot better if he had 9, wouldn't it? It's still, like, it's, this is pretty sad that he's only got 6 dudes. Oh, thank you, Fugganummy. But I want to point out, I genuinely am just having fun. You know, I, I'm not trying to be horrible about anybody. I'm sure Andre is a great coach. You know, he's got the record to prove it. He's got to lots of chalices with huge, dangerous kill teams. Yeah, um, but this is, it's and Arian, just a I think he's a lovely guy and a great coach too. But you know, we should have some fun while we're doing this. Do you, I mean, some people have said, oh, you know, you're, you're too horrible to people, PC. I'm not horrible to the people. I might be horrible a bit about some blood ball plays. Who would you really rather? I just said, oh look, a four. Let's analyse what you could do with that four. I mean, we do try and put some analysis in. We do try and study the position as well. But we also try and have some fun. Because it's a game we're playing. And I play games for fun. Yeah. Run over. I'm going for a quick smoke. See you in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> this could be dodgy, couldn't it? With a blitz? It's not a blitz. Next glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Chalice always fun. Thank you very much, Thanshin, for staying fantastic for three glorious months. On the way to a beaver pregnancy. <laughs> glorious, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, you know, they only go. But you know, a lot of people like. A lot of people have played it for a long time, haven't they? I think. I think. There's definitely a lot of old folks play it. Because we got into it when we were kids. I think that's fair to say. Uh, but. 
I think we have diff <laughs> potentially slightly different definition of kids. Though. I don't know. I got in when I was ten. <laughs> yeah, but I don't. To be honest, I don't think most people. I, I, most I know is a bit was a bit older than ten. Um, when they learned it, I wouldn't recommend anybody trying to teach. To teach. To teach a uh, under twelve. Besides, if they're good at stuff like that, it's not the easiest game to learn kids compared to if you actually take a kids. A proper design kids game yeah, for kids. Enough. Fair enough. Yeah. The rules are quite complicated. We have plenty of those forty years, so I barely can comprehend the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I I am good at games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, me too. Um, like breaking games, but yeah, in 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 all fairness, yeah. But yeah, teenage. But it's a silly dice game. Yeah. That's been not. It's never been designed to be balanced in any form of way of being high team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't teach blood ball the kids unless they aren't shit at things. <laughs> I mean, good at like, good at like Warhammer games. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm not. I'm terrible at computer games. Like I'm terrible at shooting games and driving games and most every computer game I'm terrible at, but. I'm good at like you know Warhammer and all those kind of things. Things with rules, I'm generally yeah. good at. <laughs> I'm back and I'm exactly the same, Jim. Uh, I know the sorts of things. I I mean I don't I don't dislike shooty fast games. I'm just no good at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but games where you get a chance to have a think and perhaps put you know some ideas in, I can usually do all right on. Now, either I'm lucky that that's also the game I enjoy, or I've learned to enjoy the games that I can do, one or the other. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much how I am. Like, I tend to not play the games that I'm shit at. <laughs> well, there you go. On my Fen phone, I still have Snake IO, and I'm terrible at that. <laughs> I quite enjoy a game that I'm terrible at. I've also never objected to the fact that I'm an absolute journeyman in the JFW. I find that endlessly amusing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was good at Cyberpunk, yeah, I did I did make a chick with a dick. Uh, that was pretty pretty impressive. <laughs> did you actually play any of the game other than the bit where you get to build someone's penis? Uh, I played a little bit, yeah, and it was, it was... The, 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 was the that outnumbered by the hours spent building the penis? Yes, yes. Glad to see yeah, you all stay the same. <laughs> Cheers, sea nuts. <laughs> Thanks, Nicholson. I actually played Fallout 4 all the way through. Oh. I quite enjoyed the tactical aspects of building bases and things. Oh. And, you know, I'd loved the first two Fallouts, which were more my sort of thing. I, I missed Fallout 3, but I uh, I did play Fallout 4 through. Quite enjoyed it. Oh, there's a skull. Got to yeah. re-roll it because he's lost the build. Got to re-roll it, but does. So again, he's into this cage. He's putting the pressure on. I... I know it's a little early, unlike last time, he hasn't managed to add, hence he's withdrawing afterwards. Yeah. Making that reroll seem even the more. He just had to because the driver's over if he yeah. failed it, though. That was the thing. Yeah, wasn't? absolutely. He's well, I mean, making this whole cage attack, right? attack a little bit little bit of a risk, but... Yeah. Got four L's. Only. Unlike last time, I really liked the way he managed to separate half the team and then try and monster the other half. Yeah. Uh, and it worked, but... He, he this time he perhaps can't. doesn't have that option. You know, the, right. ca the chaos are in a much tighter pack this time. Yeah, he just can't. And he's only got four players, so it's just... Mm -hmm. just, he just can't really keep them down. Yeah, I have to try something and see if somehow it all goes wrong for the chaos. Who, yeah. of course, still only have one reroll themselves, so, you know. Uh, just talk for dub scurries. <laughs> yep. <laughs> or a massive positional error. Yeah. I mean... Hope springs eternal in Blood Bowl. I've seen four elves take out a whole team before. It's, it is doable. Yeah. Um. Of course, that was a one in nine risk there. That's a blockless piece that took that uh, took that two die. Mm -hmm. Onto a blodger, so not great. Oh, oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't the blockless piece, was it? No, it no. was the block one. Okay. Yeah, I was misreading that. Um. But yeah, I, I completed Cyberpunk. I, I created a female character with the largest boobs you could give them and the largest penis you could give them, therefore completing the game. 
I have done Wasteland 2, a large thud. Uh, and Wasteland 3 is on my, well, when it comes down a bit in price list. And once the DLC can be sort of packaged in with it. Uh, I have, you know, at my age, I, I don't mind waiting a year to play a game if I think it sort of looks okay. Wasteland 2 I thought was very, very good. Really enjoyed that. Good experience. And of course I think what helped with Fallout 4 was I didn't have to be good at the shooty bit. Using the VAT system and a handgun I could uh, slow all of that down and play it a lot more tactically. Oh, it's, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not Vengabussing it. I quite like Vengabussing it though. Yeah, I mean, this does allow, you know, an elf cancel and an elf dodge in, and he's done the same thing again a little bit here, Jim, isn't he? Which is leaving half his team behind and forming a very ba bare cage. Yeah. Uh, but it is only against four elves, so it's, you know... Three elves now. Three elves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what did I say about uh, how many elves there was to start with? Yeah, I don't know if you can see this, but there's there is actually a two plus that can cancel the front edge of this cage, and then the witch only needs to three two to get out. So that's exactly what Inarian's looking at, and that's I think the right play. Yeah. This is a three two dodge though. But yeah, the dodge goes too early. Might take the reroll to get in, and if it does, it's still a two die into reds. Doesn't get in, even with the reroll. I think that's probably it. Yeah, let him stomp, well, block him, stomp the witch. GG. Again, another another nice example there of how, with very few pieces, you don't have to be quite as outnumbered if you can separate the team off, if you can use that mobility and agility uh, to be in places that half of the team isn't. Suddenly, very few can be just enough. Mm. Um, I have not played Axis and Allies Prankster Vang, but I oh, have played that, Risk. Thanks. Oh, I do remember. Oh, Axis did you enlarge that? I missed, missed that sale. I probably would have pumped in at a 50% sale because I did like uh, 2 so much. I've won I thought it had some of the. Yeah, a lot of the atmosphere and the humour that uh, Fallout's well, 1 and 2 had. I've won every game of of uh, Risk that I've played. <laughs> I've also you are won... good at rolling rolly cubes. Yeah, and I've won every game of Space Hulk that I've played as well. Yes, there's a, a set in our house of Risk that the family will not let me uh, touch or play with anymore. <laughs> but... There was a time where five of my relatives ganged up on me, and I still won. <laughs> that is the last time that set was in use. Hmm. But crucially, I have never played Wanger at either of those games. <laughs> ah. Wanger is the other person in Darlington who is good at board games. <laughs> so. It's a competitive field there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, pretty much in the northeast as well, right? At the end of the day. Oh, there's a lot of good Geordies that play Blood Bowl. Yes. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's some, yeah. From uh, from Newcastle. Yeah. I was I was born in Gateshead, actually, KLZD, which is just, oh. you know might as well call it Newcastle. Yeah, it's really close. Um, but I live in Darlow. I'm one of that rare breed that has enjoyed my time both in Sunderland and Newcastle. And mm. um, it's over now, isn't it? Yeah. Another elf team getting killed. Yeah, all the elves uh, does, does seem to have been a running theme. Yeah. I'm glad my high elves didn't get killed, I'll tell you. <laughs> no, well, I mean, they, they may be the most elfy elf team left in this tournament. Yeah, they might be. Nice easy round for you next time, of course, against uh, a fairly ordinary looking undead team, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, it really is. On paper, if you didn't know the coach, you would think that looks pretty easy. Mm. Um, but unfortunately, the coach is ducky, so that the match will be anything but easy. And how I'll put a biscuit. And there we are. Doesn't bother to hand off to a piece. Uh, I mean, no need. No re rolls. No point taking the risk. Just scores on the uh, the runner that was the ball carrier that was already skilled. Yeah. And that's fine. I mean, after this stressful a game, I think just stepping over is what I'd have done. 2-1 to the Chaos. However, that uh, that Chaos Warrior that was chipped early not coming back. 
So they did take some damage. Not as much as the Dark Elves, though. Although, as we said, it was actually only two injuries. It was the fact that KOs just slept and slept. Yeah, and I think it was ruinous there. Ruinous dice there. <laughs> he took five cars and nine kills in the end, like, but a lot of that damage came at the end and mostly it was the KO yeah, staying really did, out, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, it was the KO staying out that really scuppered him. And yet still a fantastic stop for the 2-2 in normal time. Yep, yeah, it was, yeah. Um, and truly, you know, I mean, to be moderately sensible just for half a second, I do think that was a great example of what I was talking about, where very few elves, using their agility and their pace, if they can get the team separated into two chunks, can leave one chunk behind and can use their limited numbers to still look like they're not outnumbered where they are actually attacking the ball. Yep. <laughs> so, congratulations, Andre. Commiserations in Arian. Thank you very much, Purple Chest and K Fool. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic.